The Adult Hit Music Station Mix 1079 Mixology Thursday here at uh, Mix. And so we welcome back uh, an old friend, Gavin, from North High Brewing. It has been... I, what? It's, it's been, been too long. It's been way too long. And I'm long. not that old. But they, <laughs> <laughs> neither am I. Okay. We're just going to say neither of us are that old, but it's uh, it's been a, a long time and we're super Glad to uh, be back. excited to uh, have you back. Also, uh, our, our our new friend, Dan Lacey, you are the uh, Kiwanis Club Columbus uh, uh, president? Yes, ma'am. You yeah. got like the fancy title and stuff. Well, you know, uh, somebody's got to got to do the the stuff that presidents do in every organization. Yeah, you're like you're like I got to go do the important stuff like come drink be green beer. Uh, that's that the, yeah, this is a really tough day for me. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure and I'm very impressed that both of you showed up in your green. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I, yeah, it's uh it's We've good. taking one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> we're all we're all taking one for the team mm -hmm. uh, for uh, this one, uh, aren't we? So, uh you know, we, we're here to talk, first of all, happy uh, St. Patrick's Day. Same. We're Same going to be talking a lot about uh, beer and green beer and opportunities uh, to uh, go out and enjoy some of that a little bit later. But I love, we've been doing, we've been partnering for this for the last couple of years. And it's just such a great uh, event or a promotion because... It does so many good things. Plus, you get to uh, show everybody, like, duh, of course I have the coolest dog. <laughs> yes, mine is the best. Yeah. It's, you know, it's really a shame that I can't participate because my dog would win hands down. But yeah, we, we can't we can't handicap the, uh, the, the competition like that. <laughs> yeah. Mr. President would shoot it down <laughs> yeah. right out of the yeah, game. The, your dog is just too cute. It's too cute. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're gonna we gotta make it fair. Uh, coolest dog in Columbus and uh, the search is on. Dan, can you talk to us a little bit about well, I guess both of you could maybe expand on the nuts and bolts of this, of how it works. I'll talk first. about the history of it, and then you talk Go about ahead. how okay. it's going. Go so when the Kiwanis approached us a few years ago, they uh, they had a mission to raise some money for uh, preventing infant mortality, which is a, a cause that is actually near and dear to my heart due to some uh, experiences I've had with some friends. And we we uh, collaborated to create the competition. They brought the idea of the contest to us and had very kind of, you know, humble expectations about what we might be able to do. And the first year out of the gate, it just absolutely shot out like yes. a cannon and uh, exceeded all of our expectations. And, and it's been a great partnership ever since. Yeah. Yeah. It's been great. Uh, you know, we're our Kiwanis Club and, and Kiwanis International. We're part of a worldwide organization. And our, our big thing is is kids. You know, we're just all about helping kids from infancy right up through college, college. to uh, get where they need to be, to be uh, healthy, happy, safe, you know, uh, disease free. Uh, I, how much of a how much of a strain has the last been, couple of years been for you guys? I would think that there's been increased need. Well, I think there's there's the need is there no matter what. Right. And, you know, really, to be honest with you, the last couple of years, the most difficult thing for us, like many organizations, is that we've had to do so many things virtually. We can't. Right. We 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 do fundraisers that are that rely on some live activity in the past and and those things have, have suffered a little bit but we you know we keep we keep plugging away and and you know frankly we've done quite well even despite the pandemic so this is a really fun way to be able to uh, help the kids in uh, the columbus area and hopefully get your dog on a beer can tell me about the beer so the way that it works uh, people can enter their dog into the coolest dog competition uh, there's a fee to enter yeah. And then there's ten bucks. only $10. Easy. You put your dog in, and if your dog's cool, take carry a picture on. of him. You know, take a picture, picture, submit it, tell a little blurb about your dog, and then people come to the website and start voting. And obviously, people will be out there campaigning, much like Dan probably did for his presidential run this oh, year. Well. <laughs> and uh, and then the, for everybody that votes for the dog, every vote and costs a, a buck dollar, a, vote. a yeah. buck a vote. And, uh, and it, the, what I was very impressed with when they approached us about this a few years ago is that the, uh, the, the program that they're using for the, the software and the website for this, um, almost all the proceeds for all the votes go right back to the charity. And uh, so it's like every dollar that you give 
and vote for a dog is actually going straight to the Kiwanis for their for their yeah. initiatives. It goes directly to our Kiwanis Columbus Kiwanis Foundation, which is a five hundred one c three organization. That's great. And everything we spend out of that that uh, foundation goes directly to charity, and in this case, to uh, organizations that are fighting infant mortality All here right. in Columbus, mm -hmm. Ohio. So let's uh, let's take our break here and come back. Uh, we are talking to uh, Gavin from North High Brewing and Dan Lacey from uh, the uh, Kiwanis Club president, of uh, Columbus, the president. We're talking about coolest dog, and I want uh, I want to talk about beer as well. So we we'll like beer. <laughs> Mixology Thursday, Mix 107.9. The Adult Hit Music Station Mix 107.9. It is Mixology Thursday. How fitting that we get Mixology Thursday on a St. Patrick's Day. And uh, Gavin taking pictures of us. Uh, Gavin here from North High Brewing. We're also joined by the Kiwanis Club of uh, Columbus, the club president, Dan Lacey, because it is one of my favorite contests to be able to do because it's for such a great cause, the uh, coolest dog in Columbus, because who doesn't want their dog on a beer can? And the money raised goes and helps kids. I mean, I, I just love listening to you talk, Dan, about the programs and the things you guys do to help kids. Well, yeah, you know, our Kiwanis Club, all of our members are passionate about kids, and it's it comes it's it's part of our uh, uh, your mission, our mission worldwide. Yeah, and, and and this particular project is all about helping kids survive as infants. You know, infant mortality is a much bigger problem even here in Columbus than many people realize, and particularly among you know some of the marginalized communities in town, poor neighborhoods, and yeah. minorities so so we're all in about trying to make money to, to help those causes being able to help at the early side and uh, more preventative care exactly yeah and get out in front of it mm -hmm. um, and uh, Gavin I always just appreciate that you're so involved in this I just think it's such a great thing for our community and it was such an obvious fit when we were approached by them to work with them and uh, we're so happy for the success that we've had with the campaigns over the past few years all right, so uh, Gavin brought in uh, green beer because you guys are pouring green beer tonight, today out at uh, locations. Absolutely, this is our cover crop golden ale. Uh, when we add green, when we add green dye to it, we uh, we call it the clover crop. Yep. See what we did there. <laughs> uh, some people think that green beer is a sacrilege. Well, everybody pretending to be Irish for a day is probably also. Yeah. You know, sacrilegious. Your but, insides uh, will be Irish. For yeah, the that's yes. that's the plan. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you brought us uh, some of your. Other, you brought what you say is your favorite beer. My favorite North High beer always has been the North High Five. It's our pale ale, and it's dry hopped. You can find it at all your local grocery stores. Uh, as we like to say, it's so good it hurts. <laughs> it's an homage to our our high fives that we give when we celebrate the awards that we win for this beer and. Uh, Beautiful days like today, like St. Patrick's Day, where everybody's enjoying beers on our patio in Dublin. What a great beer to be able to sit outside and enjoy. Absolutely. Perfect. Nice and bright. Yes. My husband is actually, he just polished off the other one that you brought. Oh, uh, yeah? We, we bought this uh, recently. The final countdown? loves it, yes. Fun it's fact, have him take that into the bathroom in the dark. It glows in the dark. We Does actually are near can? that. Yes. yes. <laughs> I think we were showing the kids. I should, probably should encourage that, but uh, it was like, hey, look, it glows. This is our Joe Camel. You know, you <laughs> <laughs> give them a package that's fancy when they're young, and they, you know, they'll remember us when they're 21 years old. That's so talk to us, uh, talk to us about the the restaurant and uh, how everything's going there. So we've uh, we partnered up with a real estate partner, Cohatch. Uh, a couple years ago, we've opened a few restaurants with them. We've uh, we got a bunch more coming, having a great time. The Dublin was the first of our restaurants that we opened with them. It's been yep. open almost two years, and uh, we've got two patios there that when I left there an hour ago, they were completely packed, but that doesn't mean there's not room for more people. So for anybody that's driving around looking for a place to enjoy a, uh, a, a blonde or a green ale, we got the spot for you. 56 North High Street in historic Old Dublin. And uh, Gavin will be back there in uh, about 20-ish uh, minutes. So feel you free, can go to, have, feel uh, free to come give me a painful high five. There you go. That works. And then uh, uh, coolestdog.org for, the, uh, for the, the contest? Well, I think it, actually the, the, the actual name is, is gogophotocontest.com slash Kiwanis Club of Columbus. Yes. But if they, go to, if they go to coolestdog.org, it automatically forwards to yes. that. So okay. and, coolestdog.org. 
MyMix1079.org. And if you get desperate, know. just go to MyMix1079.com, and that will take. We'll, we'll we'll get you there. Uh, yeah. We'll get you somewhere. You can, yeah. you can participate and be a part of this for. It's one dollar a vote, so don't. Yeah. You know. And uh, ten dollars to put your dog in. Ten dollars to enter your dog. A dollar a vote. Get all your neighbors, your you friends, go, your yeah, your yeah. Kiwanis Club members to vote for your dog. Vote early may, and vote often. May the coolest dog win. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. By, you know, by all then, means. just getting to come in and hang out with you guys to uh, be able to uh, like pick the beer and all the good stuff, to me, that would be worth it all. Just we need to do own. this contest every week, Dan. There, there you go. <laughs> there you go. It's Mixology Thursday uh, with uh, Gavin from uh, North Eye Brewing and uh, Dan Lacey from the Kiwanis Club of Columbus. Thank you so much for taking time on your St. Patrick's Day. Well, I, thanks. Thank you for having Especially for you. This is like... Hey. You know, for a good cause. Absolutely. And I, I want to say hi to Amelia DeNovo and happy birthday to Anthony. Uh, hopefully see you guys soon. We, uh, we, we'll have all the info for you. If you want to know more, head to our website, mymix1079.com. It's Mixology Thursday on Mix 1079.